What's going on Music Impact Network? My name is Nick Tedro, your community manager, and welcome back to an all new summer edition of Quick Tip Tuesday. This month we are focusing all on the DIY activities from our DIY Summer Activity Bundle that you can download from musicimpactnetwork.org. I'll link it down below. These are fun ideas you can do with any level of participant in your program. We know that summers are very different than the actual school year and you have a different population of students for the most part. And these activities are really fun and will fit any group that's joining you for the summer. Don't forget that we're also running a giveaway this month where you can win a Build Your Own Cajon kit. We are giving away two of these kits to two Lucky Impact Network members. So all you have to do is be a part of the Music Impact Network on Facebook and share a creative summer idea that you'll be doing this summer with your participants or that you've already done in a previous summer. This way we can all take value from each other's ideas and we can create better music programs for youth across the country. The first idea I want to talk about today was submitted by Dustin from Georgia, and it has to do with naming your instruments in your program. This is actually a great way to give your participants ownership over your space and your music program, and you can make a little competition out of it at the beginning of the summer. Have members submit different name suggestions for the different instruments in your programs, and then allow them to vote on what name might fit best. But then you can take it to the next level by physically labeling the instruments. You can see in the photos that Dustin used simple masking tape and allowed the students to design the names on the physical instrument. You could even take it up one more level and create stencils and do some type of spray or airbrush art to permanently name the instrument. Not only does naming the instrument give the youth participants ownership over the space and the instruments, but it actually creates a fun little relationship with the instruments where they're probably more likely to be respectful towards those instruments just because they have those names. This next idea is a fun way to upcycle some used guitar strings and because the idea involves using old guitar strings, it's actually free. So we're constantly breaking strings in our programs or changing the strings on our instrument per season. So as you get ready to do that for summer, don't just throw away the old strings, save them, and you can create some really awesome braided bracelets out of these guitar strings. If you wanted to teach a little bit about guitar anatomy, you could have participants be involved in removing old strings from guitars and then creating the bracelets. That way they can get a little taste of how the mechanism of guitar and strings actually works. From there on out, it's a fun activity to sit and do with your hands while listening to some music, having musical discussions, or watching musical movies. Another fun upcycling idea that you can do with old instruments that you're not gonna be using anymore is turn them into decorations for your space. Don Marie from Boston shared two examples of upcycling old guitars for cool, crafty, decorative ideas for the program space, including a lamp built out of the neck of a guitar and a clock built out of the body of a guitar. You can find DIY clock kits on Amazon or at local craft stores. And Don Marie also used the idea of using an old CD as the clock face, just to give it that extra cool musical vibe. It's not only awesome to make cool bracelets or cool decorations for your space, but it's also cool to talk about the idea of upcycling and recycling and how we best use our resources as musicians with your participants. All right, I hope you found these ideas interesting. If you did and you wanna dive a little deeper, don't forget to download our DIY Summer Activity Kit. The link is down below, or you can find it at musicimpactnetwork.org. We are running a giveaway all month and all you need to do is share your fun summer program ideas on the Music Impact Network Facebook group. Don't worry about being fancy with pictures or video. Go ahead and just type out your fun summer idea that you've either run or you're planning to run this summer. We're all looking for new ideas to spice up our programs over the summer. Thanks so much for watching another Quick Tip Tuesday. My name is Nick Tejo, your community manager for the Music Impact Network.